Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of C if we have C plus 1 into C plus 2 into C plus 3 into C plus 4 is equals to 120 and we solve this problem for the values of C. So here first uh, we rearrange uh, all of these factors as in this form. So we can write here first C plus 1 into uh, we make the pair of C plus 1 with C plus 4 and it will be written as C plus 1 into C plus 4 into C plus 2 into C plus 3 and this is equals to 120. And now here in the next step uh, we will multiply these two factors and these two factors as well. So uh, here we multiply term by term and you see here when we multiply first we multiply the c on both of these terms and it will be written as c times of c becomes here c square plus c times of 4 is equals to 4c and 1 time of c is equals to c plus 1 times of 4 is equals to 4 into here in the same pattern we multiply these two factors and it will be written as c times of c is equals to c square c times of 3 is equals to 3c 2 times of c is equals to 2c and 2 times of 3 is equals to 6 and this whole equation equals to 120. And now here in the next step uh, we need to add or subtract the like terms and we have from here c square plus this is 4c plus 1 becomes 5c and plus 4 into uh, here we have this is c square plus 3c plus 2c becomes 5c and here we break this 6 as 4 plus 2 we write this 6 as 4 plus 2 and uh, this whole equation is equals to 120 and now in the next step you see here uh, these term will be same on both of these factors uh, so that here uh, we will just take uh, y is equals to c square plus 5c and plus 4. So when we put this value uh, to the above uh, equation, uh, so our above equation is written as uh, it will become y times of y plus 2 is equals to 120. And now we multiply this y on both of these terms and it will become y square plus 2y and we move this 120 in the left hand side and it will be written as minus 120 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we need any two numbers whose product is uh, minus 120 and whose sum is uh, 2. Uh, so here we break our middle term and it we write this term as plus uh, uh, 12y and uh, minus 10y we know that 12 minus 10 becomes 2y and this is minus 120 equals to 0 here we easily break the middle term and after break of middle term we can make the factors of this equation so from first two terms we take common y and we get here y plus 12 and from here we take common minus 10 and we get y plus 12 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, we will take common uh, y plus 12 from both of these terms and we get here the remaining values are y minus 10 equals to 0 uh, so here we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write y plus 12 equals to 0 and the second case is we write y minus 10 equals to 0 from this case we easily get the value of y is equals to minus 12 and from here we get the value of y is equals to 10 and now we back substitution the value of y and we take our value of y is equals to this one so we can put uh, the above value of y from both of these cases and when we put it here it will become c square plus 5c and plus 4 is equals to minus 12 and when we put it here it will becomes c square plus 5c plus 4 is equals to 10. So here we call this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2. Uh, so here first we can solve our equation number 1 uh, so that uh, from equation number 1 we have here we move this minus 12 in the left hand side and it will be written as c square plus 5c plus 4 and plus 12 equals to 0 
uh, and here uh, we have this is c square plus 5c and uh, 4 plus 12 becomes here 16 and this is equals to 0. So here it is not possible to make the factors of this equation so that we will apply here the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation. Uh, so that uh, in order to apply the quadratic formula we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are capital A is equals to 1, capital B is equals to 5 and capital C is equals to 16 and we state the quadratic formula as C is equals to minus B plus minus square root of B square minus 4 times of AC divided by 2 times of A. So this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the above values of a, b and c here and after substituting these values it will be written as c is equals to this is minus b. The value of b is minus 5 plus minus square root of b square b is 5 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 16 and it is divided by 2 times of a and here our a is equals to 1. And now in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as minus 5 plus minus square root of this is 5 square and 5 square becomes 25 minus 4 times of 16 is equals to 64 you get here 4 times of 6 becomes 24 and uh, this will become here 64 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. And now further in the next step we need to subtract these two values and it will be written as minus 5 plus minus square root of 25 minus 64 is equals to so this will be written as minus 39 and it is divided by 2 uh, so here we uh, you know that when a negative sign appears inside the square root it will become here iota so we will get here minus 5 plus minus square root of 39 times of iota and it is divided by 2. So these are the first two complex roots of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need to focus on equation number 2 so that from equation number 2 we have First we copy down equation number 2 here it is c square plus 5c plus 4 is equals to 10 and here we move this 10 in the left hand side and it will become c square plus 5c plus 4 minus 10 is equals to 0 and here we have c square plus 5c and 4 minus 10 is equals to minus 6 and this whole equation equals to 0. And here we need to break the middle term so uh, here we can easily break its middle term and after breaking the middle term it will be written as c square and plus 6c and minus uh, minus c only and this is minus 6 is equals to 0 uh, because here you, you we, this is our 5c and we, when we break it we write it as 6c minus c, c is equals to 5c so here we need to take common c from the first two terms and we will get here c times of c plus 6 here we take common minus 1 and we get here c plus 6 is equals to 0 and now further in the next step uh, we need to take common c plus 6 on both of these terms and we get here c minus 1 equals to 0 uh, and here we again break this into the two cases the first case is we write c minus 6 equals to 0 and c minus 1 equals to 0 so from here we get c is equals to minus 6 this is the third root of the given equation and from here we get c is equals to plus 1 this is the fourth root of the given equation so these are the all fourth root of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos